hello there you are welcome today in this tutorial I am going to demonstrate how to add a book to a course now a book in Moodle is a series of connected pages you can think of it has a mini website or a manual and it is useful because you can include not only text but links, images, sound and video such as a YouTube video embedded. Now here you can see that books have table of contents. This is how you tell a book or this is how a your learner will be able to know the book this is the symbol of a book if I open this book you're able to see that it has a table of contents and can scroll through different contents and pages of a book now to add a book in any of your courses one you have to enable edit mode edit mode is on the top right corner of your LMS right here so once I have enabled edit mode and I want to add it in a particular course for example this very course right here then I have a book resource which I'll get in the activity chooser where we have activities and resources a book is a resource because learners just read it they don't interact with it so you go to resources and select a book you can go to the i icon to learn more about the book and if you straight click add then you you will be able to add a book so name is the name of the book the name that you want your learners to see we give our book a name if needed a description And if we want to display this description on the course page, we check display description on course page. Note that if you check this box, the description will display at the top of each of the sections or chapters in your book. In appearance, we can decide how we want the chapters which some prefer to think of as pages of our book to be displayed for example numbers numbered or bullets activity completion if we want to track that students have access to the book do we want them to manually click to confirm they have read it or do you want to automatically do you want it automatically marked you enable that to alert course participants that a book has been added or updated click send content change notification we click save and display we can start adding content to our book and once we have made one chapter you can see that its name appears over in the table of contents we can click add icon or the plus icon to add another one so you give that chapter a name and put content here 
and then you click save changes you'll see you get have that chapter added there is an arrow allowing us to change the order of chapters the configure icon lets us do some edits this one here the bin icon would lead our chapter and the eye will hide it from students this is important especially if your book is still under development so we can continue with our book by clicking the plus icon and add more chapters and you can do this all the time until you complete your book finally if we click on a book and click the more link right here we see that it's possible to print something off for your students so this is our book and it can be printed for your students if needed thank you